Antineoplastic. Antineoplastic agents, commonly referred to as anti-cancer or chemotherapy drugs, are a diverse group of medications used to treat cancer by inhibiting or killing cancer cells. They are an essential part of cancer treatment and can be used in various ways, including as primary therapy, adjuvant therapy, after surgery, neoadjuvant therapy, before surgery, or palliative care to manage symptoms and improve quality of life. Antineoplastic agents work through different mechanisms to target cancer cells and disrupt their growth and division. The choice of specific agents and treatment regimens depends on the type of cancer, its stage, the patient's overall health, and other factors. There are several classes of antineoplastic agents, each with its own mode of action. Cytotoxic agents. These drugs directly target and kill rapidly dividing cells, including cancer cells. They interfere with DNA replication or cell division. Examples include alkylating agents, example, cyclophosphamide, antimetabolites, example, methotrexate, and topoisomerase inhibitors, example, edaposide. Targeted therapies. These drugs specifically target molecules or pathways that are involved in cancer growth and progression. They aim to disrupt signaling pathways that are critical for cancer cell survival and proliferation. Examples include tyrosine kinase inhibitors, example, imatinib, monoclonal antibodies, e.g., trastuzumab, and proteasome inhibitors, example, bortezomib. Hormone therapies. These agents are used to treat hormone-sensitive cancers, such as breast and prostate cancer. They work by interfering with hormone signaling and suppressing cancer cell growth. Examples include tamoxifen for breast cancer and androgen deprivation therapy for prostate cancer. Immunotherapies. These drugs enhance the body's immune response against cancer cells. They can stimulate the immune system or block molecules that inhibit immune responses. Examples include immune checkpoint inhibitors, example, pembrolizumab, cancer vaccines, and adoptive T-cell therapies. Angiogenesis inhibitors. These drugs target the process of angiogenesis, which is the formation of new blood vessels that supply nutrients to tumors. By inhibiting angiogenesis, these agents can slow down tumor growth. An example is bevacizumab. Differentiation agents. Some antineoplastic agents induce cancer cells to differentiate into more mature, less aggressive forms, making them more susceptible to conventional therapies. One example is all transretinoic acid used in the treatment of acute promyelocytic leukemia. DNA damaging agents. These drugs cause damage to the DNA within cancer cells, preventing them from replicating and dividing. Examples include platinum-based compounds, example, cisplatin, and anthracyclines, example, doxorubicin. It's important to note that antineoplastic agents often have significant side effects, as they can also affect normal, rapidly dividing cells in the body, such as those in the bone marrow, digestive tract, and hair follicles. Common side effects include fatigue, nausea, vomiting, hair loss, anemia, and immunosuppression. Medical professionals closely monitor patients undergoing chemotherapy to manage and mitigate these side effects. The selection of a specific antineoplastic regimen depends on careful consideration of the type of cancer, its stage, the patient's overall health, potential drug interactions, and the goal of treatment, example, curative versus palliative. Treatment plans are often tailored to each patient's individual needs to maximize effectiveness while minimizing side effects.